Hello everybody and welcome back to Idiots in Space. And here is the little ship that I was finishing building up in the last episode. Um, yeah, it's kind of bulky. Um, but, I mean, it works. I also have access to my uh, conveyors so I can still put stuff on the side and all that fun stuff. Um, now, I got one suggestion for a name uh, by a Kristen Sosa. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Kristen suggests, well, says, I was thinking of a name for the ship. The only thing that popped into my head was Little Red Riding Hood. Kind of silly, I know. Um, not nearly as silly as you think. For one, I've been calling this thing Little Red ever since I started building it. And two, it's kind of tiny. <laughs> You remember what I said about making this thing big and not holding back? Yeah, I was wrong. Um, but hey, I mean, it's completed. We have most of the soldering done. Um, we still have... I still have soldering to do. Whoa. Um. What the hell? Something just exploded in my face. Um, did, like, a meteor hit... Or a comet hit the asteroid and, like, kill things? Because it kind of blew up in my face. That was that was very strange. Hmm. Anyways. Um, so, let's see. What, what do I still have to do with this thing? I've got to put an ejector on this thing. So that I can eject things into the input on the yellow ship. Whatever we call it. Uh, i got to put a... Um, uh, 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 crap, I forget what it is. What is this thing? What is this thing? This thing, the ore detector. Got to put one of them on there. Uh, let's see. Where is the ejector? That would probably be down here. That's a connector. That's the ejector. All right. So I've got to put an ejector on this thing. But more importantly, far more importantly, I've got to put a detector on this thing. Um, let's see. What is right there? That is not what I'm looking for. Though technically, I could put the detector right there. Um, that wouldn't look too terribly stupid. Or, I guess, technically, I could uh, chop out two of these blocks and put the detector there. No, I don't think I like that idea. Because you're going to be able to see through the detector. Hmm. Where do I want to put this thing? I don't want to shove it on the back. Because I might need access to it at some point. Because I found out that even though uh, I put a conveyor directly adjacent to the, uh, the, the cockpit here... Um, if I hit, uh, I for inventory. Oh, I can do things. Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't do it. See, I can't pull anything from my inventory and put it anywhere in here. So I can't, like, access... Could I... Yeah, I can't pull anything out. I can't push anything in. Um, so it kind of doesn't work. How's my energy? Let's just turn on the reactor for a moment and charge up real quick. And then turn you off, and then get out. Yeah, I've been keeping the reactor off because it's parked on the yellow ship. So, you know, it just kind of works there. Um, that looks a little goofy, but it's effective. And I need construction components to build it. Uh, so that will work. And the ejector, the ejector could go on the bottom. That's nothing. Uh, there we go. What else do I need? Um, if I hit G and I hover over it, I can see, uh, computer, display, motor, small steel tubes, construction components, steel plates, huh? Alrighty, um, I'm not gonna remember that, but I know I need small steel tubes. Um, I know I need steel plates. I know I need construction components. Yeah, I'm just throwing 10 in there because I don't remember what all I need. I need motors. Uh, what else did I need? Did I need a display? I have two stacks of displays. Oh, I forget. What do I need? What do I need? G, that guy. Uh, computers and displays. Yeah, I've got everything else. K again. K. 
computer and display. Is there anybody out there that could actually remember not only all of the items that you need to build things, but the number of items that you need to build things? Because I can't do that. Oh, I'm also looking at the ore detector. I was looking at the ejector. Um, the ore detector needs steel plates, construction components, more of them. Uh, G, detector, detector, detector. Steel plates, detector components, computer, motor, construction components. Well, I have all of them already. I just need a detector component um, that I don't have. All right, well, let's make me one. Detector components. I have plenty, at least. That's good. Boop. All right, I have plenty of stuff to make one, at least. All right, so let's jam you on the front of this thing and make sure and see if you work. Ooh, 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 that's an idea. That There we go, there we go, That that's an idea. Um, I need to get in here first. Y, P, up. And I'm just gonna leave the uh, reactor on. Go underneath you. And embed it in here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll look pretty too. Um, so let's see, eight. I know, I just put all this stuff in here, and I'm tearing it all out now. Boop. There we go. Okay, uh, five. There. Uh, seven. And let's see if I remember to do the filter again. Hopefully I remembered to do the filter. I don't know, did that work in the last episode? Nobody actually commented about it, but nobody complained, so I would assume that it worked. I would assume that that was a good thing. Um... And then the next thing I need is the ejector, but that's okay because, well, the ship's already up, and I'm just going to put the ejector right there. Oh, but I need a tube. Um, gee, I'm going to memorize the controls at some point, I swear. I need a little tube, and you need to go there, so you need to be turned page downwise. Boop. What? Oh, I need interior plates. Crap, that's the one thing I don't have on me is interior plates. Yes, I know, small conf <sighs> I know, the small conveyor is not available for the bigger ships. I don't care. Um, interior plate, but I only need one of those. I remember that. I don't know, am I... Am I unique in my lack of memory for these kind of things? Um, because I always feel kind of stupid when I have to recheck things like 20 times. But I really kind of don't get any hint that anybody else is any different. Um, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, four, you need to be rotated delete-wise. Yes, because that round thing needs to be on the bottom. Then we need to solder again. Oh, this will take a moment or two. But I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. Just the building and all of the potentials of how things work. Like the question I postulated yes, or in the last episode. I keep saying yesterday, but it was two days ago that I recorded that. Um, but in the last episode, uh, I postulated, does the beacon affect where the asteroids go, the, the comets go? I'm trying to use the correct term. That's an asteroid because it's just kind of floating there. Comets have tails. Meteors are what actually enter the atmosphere, right? I may be mistaken, and I have never seen that before. Guess where we're going next? That looks like a new thing. Uh, is that part of the skybox? No, that is not part of the skybox. That is a thing. Uh, we're going there next. Um, but what I should do... I should create a beacon, just so that I can find my way home. Uh, beacons, 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 beacon. Oh, but is this, how well is this gonna work? Isn't this gonna be huge? Yeah, that's gonna be fucking huge! Ah, crap. This is a tiny ship, though. Um... I don't want to put a beacon down if it's gonna be that fucking big. Uh, what if I rotate it... Hope, like that. 
That'll work. Holy crap, do I need a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I do want to get this thing working so I can at least find my way home. Um... I need a lot of steel plates. Lots and lots and lots of steel plates. Only because I'm sick of getting lost in space. Uh, it doesn't work all that well. Um, well, it ended up kind of like a TV show where you're just kind of exploring around trying to figure out where the crap everything is. Um, I, I don't know what else I need, but I do know I need... Uh, not detector components, radio communication components, and I need... I'm going to need a lot more of that. I wish I could make, like, 50. Um, I don't know. If I hold control and click, does it... Oh, control click does 10. How about alt click? Alt click does 1, so that doesn't do anything different. How about control shift click? 100. So, no. Alrighty. Whatever. Alright. Game on! Whoops. Forgot to turn on my jetpack. So I jumped right at the right before I left, so it kind of worked out. Look cool. I'm sure it looked cool from outside. All right, I got plenty of steel plates. I need way more construction components, way more small steel tubes. I knew I needed large steel tubes and a lot of them. Uh, computers, not at many. More radio communication components, but I could only carry 20. I knew I needed 40, but I knew I could only carry 20. Um, I was out of inventory space. But I can put away the steel plates now because I don't need those anymore. Um, so I put 20 in there, so I need 20 more. Confirm. Uh, I can put away the displays. I can put away the motors because I know I don't need those. Uh, what do I need? I need large steel tubes, and I think I need 40 of them, don't I? Something like that. Some ridiculous amount. And I can only carry 27. Arr. Whoa. There we go. Jetpack on. Whee. Eventually, I'll be able to... Well, I guess technically I can pull the drill out of my inventory now. Uh, okay, so radio components are done. Large steel tubes. I did need 40, so I need 13 more. Ooh. Flying in space is a pain in the butt. Oh, hey, I made it through the hole without turning on my jet off my jetpack. Um, so I need uh, 13 more. 13... Uh, what else did I need? I got all the large steel tubes I need. I need, like, eight computers. Or something like that, I forget. Um, I th need construction components, but I think I need a lot more construction components. So let's actually make a bunch of those. And we'll let that go, because construction p components take forever. Why do- why is it just construction components that take forever to build? Like, everything else builds almost instantly. Uh, so I still need more construction components. I'm working on that. I need more small steel tubes and even more construction components. Alrighty. Well, let's go get the small steel tube while it's building the construction components. Uh, small steel tubes. We'll just grab a bunch of those. I am having fun doing this. I mean, it looks kind of tedious running back and forth, but this is kind of fun. Uh, I still don't have enough small steel tubes. Crap. <laughs> All right, so I need two more small steel tubes and still a crap ton of construction components. Boop. I uh, have girders, which I have no idea what they're for. I haven't used any yet. Are they used in anything? I have no idea. Uh, don't need those. I think that's about as many as construction components as I need. I do need more small steel tubes. So I'll prioritize those real quick. Because they build faster. And boom! I should have enough stuff to do what I need to do. In theory. And then we can name this thing. And I don't know what to call it. Yep, there we go. All right, we have everything we need. We're building the beacon. What should we call this thing? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. We might leave this thing beacon for a little while. I'm not good with naming things. I mean, I call my ship Little Red. Uh, though I could paint black spots on it and call it a ladybug. 
or even worse, what are those bugs called? Um, Japanese beetles or something like that? But they impersonate ladybug, and then they're kind of bad for gardeners. All right, we've got a beacon. And it just says beacon, and that's all it says. Um, anyway, so we have a detector here. Um, I got what I need, and we can see everything in there, and that's awesome. Uh, let's see, K. No, how much time do I have? 20 days fuel time. Okay. Uh, I think I have enough. Let's see, ejector, drill, drill, gyroscope, landing gear, cargo container, or, dete or detector. That's what I was looking for. Okay. I thought it had a detection radius. I thought you could make, have a slider. Like, there's a couple of things you can have a slider on. Like, the gravity generators, there are sliders. That's why I have uh, 0.5 gravity inside the yellow ship. Well, let's go, let's go mining. Um, I like flying the little ships in this view because it's easier to see. Uh, where were we heading? We were heading up there because I hadn't seen that before. I don't think that was there before, actually. Inertial dampeners off. Um, we're up to speed and we can just coast. 34 days fuel time remaining. Uh, this thing is so efficient. I don't know how it's so efficient, but it's so efficient. Let's see what happens when I turn on the um, 19 hours remaining. That's still a long time. That's still a very, very long time. Uh, yeah, I don't remember uh, seeing this rock here before. All right, so we got iron, cobalt. Uh, I can't move all that well. Hey, there's a giant hole in it. Somebody had fun mining this out. Uh, magnesium, which might be useful, and I think I just smashed my back end off of the rock. Uh, no, apparently not. Look, more comets. Alright, so it's saying magnesium there, magnesium there, but it's 23 meters away. What happens if I get close? Is it just on the other side of this place? No, it's right underneath the rock here. And this... I really like the, the drills, the... the ship mounted drills because they're just so easy to use I don't have to hold T I don't have to chase down floating rocks or anything like that I can just drill and it fills the drills in the internal inventory and it's getting kind of dark let's turn on our lights whoa I think I need a brightness setting oh wait but I can do this um hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on okay uh let's see lights 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 Spotlight one, spotlight two. Set this to lights. Okay, uh, if you, in case you wanted to know that, if you click on something, you hold shift, and you click on something else, it'll select everything in between. Uh, is it like Windows where if you control click? Yes, if you control click, you can select individual things and deselect them. And if you shift click, it cl selects in between. And then you can make groups. So thruster, boop, and then your groups show up at the top here. So I have lights and I can control both lights all at once. So I can turn down the intensity a bit, uh, turn down the radius a bit, and it affects both lights simultaneously. See there, now we can see and we're not blinded by the reflections. I like that. I'm glad I learned how to do that. I, I'm glad I picked that up. Um, but you could do that with anything. Uh, I used to do it with the parking brake. Uh, the parking brake. I keep calling them parking brake. Because you hit P. Uh, but I, I did it with the landing gear. Not realizing I could hit P. Um, I don't even remember where I learned you could hit P to park the ship. But yeah. I don't know. All right, what else we got? Um, so we still have magnesium. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was going to say, I'm hitting something. I'm not moving like I should. I was too low. My front end was hitting the ground. Or hitting the rock. And I got to watch doing that. I've destroyed so many components just by doing that. Oh, because you can see I'm flipping around like mad. 
I'm trying to, to, to balance the ship, and it's kind of hard. Um, I never did put that second gy or gyroscope on the ship to see if... Whoa! Um, that helped with me turning. What's that blue stuff? Silicon? It might be. I don't know. What do I got in my inventory? Uh, magnesium ore, iron ore... And that's it. Just magnesium ore and iron ore. Alrighty. Oh, hey, there's a rock there. A random rock. Okay, sometimes I do have to chase rocks. Alright, how do I get out of here? I want to be on the outside of this thing. Ooh, what's on this one? I don't know. It looked inviting. So I'm going to go over here and look at this guy. Is anything on you? Nothing's being picked up by my giant detector. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, there it is. I was going to say, I thought the beak, I thought it was telling me the beacon was like up there or something. I'm like, how did I get that turned around? Uh, why do the little ones don't, not have anything in them? Like uh, these little rocks that are always orbiting, they don't have anything in them ever. They're all just rock. And what I also find a little disappointing is you can't move them. So I can't, like, shift these guys. And it's kind of a shame. I was really hoping you could. That would be fun. What are you? You're shiny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Ow. Okay, more thrusters on the front for brakes. What did I damage? Uh, V. Uh, not much, if anything. Good. <sighs> yeah, note to self. Brakes. Break early. Uh, apparently those are just rocks. They're not anything because the detector's not picking up anything. There's some gold over there. I think I can use some gold. I can use gold, silver, and platinum, right? Something like that? Uh, hey, there's that blue stuff again. Oh, and it's kind of weird. I just realized I didn't get any rock either, did I? No rock was in my inventory. I... Uh, there's stone, gold, cobalt. That must be the blue stuff. It must be cobalt. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember what these things look like, so I don't really need a detector. Uh, though being able to tell what's under the surface would be is useful. I don't know. Come on. Uh, maybe I should put more thrusters on these things. Like... Two on the bottom, two on the top, two on the left, two on the right. Four on the front, four on the back. What I want to do, um, I'm tr trying to picture how to do it, but I want to make a Star Fury. Like, you know, in, uh, uh, yeah, Babylon 5? I kept thinking Battlestar Galactica for some reason. I'm like, no, 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 I was just watching this yesterday. It's Babylon 5. One of the better sci-fi shows in all-time history. Um, but uh, I want to make one of the Star Furies from Babylon 5, because I think I could do that pretty well, and I could fiddle with the physics of it. Because if you ever notice, those Star Furies don't have a side-to-side. -side. Um, I'm trying to show you going side-to-side, -side and my ship barely has a side-to-side. -side. They only really have front-back, you know, but they have four engines. Four engines pointing forward and four engines pointing backwards so they can, like, turn around and stuff and do sharp turns and stuff. I'm mildly curious how well that would work in an actual space-like environment, like an actual zero-G environment. So I kind of want to build it and see how well it works. Um, I have no idea what I'm mining right now. It's shiny. I think it's platinum. Uh, yes, yes, yes. There's a platinum marker right there, eight meters. So, yeah, I'm digging platinum right now and it's cool uh how much gold do i have no i uh gold ore 1.34 k not a lot but it'll work uh silver ore 2.59 k Ooh. oh nickel i i forget nickel so i need nickel cobalt and i'm working on platinum right now but it's not showing me any platinum Maybe I'm not digging into platinum. I wonder what I am digging into. I... 
Stone. <laughs> yeah, that didn't help. It's just very, very shiny stone, apparently. I am totally out of control. <laughs> Mostly out of control. I mean, I'm spinning in a giant freaking circle. Uh, yeah, that was platinum. Not a lot of it, but that was platinum. All right. So I just got to go mining a bit, dig it around, gather up a whole bunch of supplies. And I can do that mostly off camera. I don't have to do that on camera because, I mean, you're just staring at me kick up smoke digging a hole. But what I can do for right now... Hmm... You know, that's a commercial freighter. Do I dare? Do I take my pretty ship and I go after the commercial freighter? No, I won't take my pretty ship and go after a commercial freighter. Um, well, you know what? I don't know. But that's going to be in the next episode, definitely. If I do do that, that'll be in the next episode. Um, though chances are it won't be that particular commercial freighter, and it won't be anything marked with military. Remember, break early, kids. <sighs> Uh, so let us fiddle with uh, the reason that I put the ejector on. And that is for that hole right there. That's not the right button. All right, now to park, I like putting it in third person view with a little bit of a downward. So that way I have a general idea of which direction I'm going. Uh, see... This is hard to tell when I don't have a shadow. I can't tell where my landing gear is relative to the ship. Um, I need to go this way a little bit. This ship... My little bug is so damn tiny. Alright, so according to this, it can latch. Or it's already latched. Yeah, okay. Apparently I had hit P and activated the parking brake at some point um is that where i need to be i mean that's where my ejector is that's about right all right uh yeah there was an update i do remember seeing that there was an update to yeah it keeps reactivating my parking brake like right when i touch it it reactivates my parking brake i don't tell it to but it does down there. Parking brake is not active. God damn it. There. Parking brake is active. I have no idea why it's doing that. It's automatically putting on the parking brake. Uh, whatever. Uh, K. Uh, ejector. On, on. Escape. And now we can see it's spitting out everything. <laughs> My little ship is taking a little dump. And, uh, basically, if I pop out of my cockpit really quick into the yellow ship. Come on. There we go. Boop. We can see this stuff's all going into the refinery, which is really cool because then I can just dump everything in the refinery, run off, go mining some more while everything's being refined. Um, now, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you don't want it to do that... Uh, what you do is you go to your control panel, you find your refinery, and tell it not to use the conveyor system. So if I turn that off, and I go back to my inventory, this is going down. It's not going up anymore. And if I go into my collector, you can see things are coming in and out. They are all going to the small cargo container. Okay. But if I turn back on use conveyor system, it will actually also... It will pull everything out of the small co cargo container as well as out of the collector. Um, which is good, because I don't think you use any of the ores for anything. Uh, I think the only thing that you use stone for is the artificial mass. Though that is not correct. Alright, is there anything in here that needs that? Um, explosives, gravity generator components... No, there appears to be nothing that actually uses 
dome. Not that I can tell anyways. Though I had heard that to make the artificial mass, you needed stone. Like actual stone, not like gravel or anything. But uh, apparently that is not the case. Um, so I guess we all learn something every day. Uh, boop. Oh, I forgot to turn out my lights. Hang on. They are very bright, aren't they? T. Uh, K. Lights. Off. Off. T. There we go. Lights are off. <laughs> but my idea is also this. So it's parked right now uh, on the yellow ship. So if I really wanted to, I could take the yellow ship and fly off somewhere... And the red ship would stay attached to it, so I could take both ships all at once. Um, but from what I understand, there's a few collision detection errors, which might be why the landing gear do what they do now. Uh, but you see how the landing gear are floating above the actual metal? That's what you want to see. You want to see them floating. You don't want to see them touching, because then the uh, collision error kicks in, and it rips out parts of your, both of your ships. Always ends badly. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there we go. We got our mining ship all set and ready to go. We got ejectors. We got detectors. We got lights. We got everything. We even got a beacon. Which, yeah, sometime here soon, I'm just going to make a little ship. Just a little random ship. And I'm going to put it out somewhere. Like, all of the comments seem to stop at about here. So, I'll fly out to about... I don't know, here somewhere? And we'll start doing tests and see if it's the beacons that attract uh, comets or if it's something else, like the size of the build, uh, which I guess means that we're going to have to have a very large build at some point, some kind of large ship or something. I don't know. But we'll get to that later on. Uh, to Next episode, I guess, uh, if I remember, well, then... I guess I'm not going to uh, uh, attach, if I remember, to anything. I'm just not going to say it. So not going to give hints for next episode because I probably won't remember the hints that I gave. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.